Hey folks, Charlie here. Welcome back to Satisfactory. Uh, at the end of the last video, we got our wire production set up. We're standing on top of our biomass burners. We got our copper production set up, our wire production set up, and look at all the glorious wire all going into our storage shed. Isn't it glorious? We already have 66 wire in here. And it will fill up. We're going to have constant supply of that. Today, I'm going to expand our production for iron. We're going to build another miner over here. And get a whole other one of these going. We're probably going to need two storage units to do that. And I also want to get some constant concrete going. Because we're going to need more concrete as time goes on as well. So, without further ado, I guess we just get started in that. I think the first thing I'll probably do is pick up our miner. And we can build the miner uh, over here, I think. We're going to we're gonna abandon concrete for the time being. We have enough limestone to make our own concrete for the short term. And we can actually mill just a few. Just to get started here. And as by a few, I mean we're going to use up all of our limestone. <laughs> so we have 34 concrete in inventory. That's, that's not bad. What I need is enough resources to build another miner. So let's grab our iron plates. We have quite a few plates. Maybe temporarily we'll switch you to rods. Let me make sure I can build the miner. Indeed I can. Let's go. So we're going to build another iron miner out this way on this spot right here. And we're going to want to rotate it so that everything comes out. The resources come out in this direction. Let's build that. Then we're going to want another smelter. And then we're going to want another one of these. So we, we basically just need a copy of everything we've already built. And I think I'm just going to pop it right next to it. I don't see anything wrong with that plan. We want to give it enough room to where we can walk through it, though. It ends up being a problem if you don't. And also, some units, like this one, are wider than the others. So if you want them in a straight line, you have to build them a little bit far apart. Let's actually make this just a little bit further out. And as you can see... There we go. I hit made the wrong thing. Let's build this just a little bit further out. I'd like it to line up perfectly, though. It's always a challenge if you don't have, like, an overhead view. All right, so this looks like it's pretty, pretty level. So we'll just kind of bring it out to about here. I mean, it's up on top of the ground, but... It's, like, higher elevation, but it's still straight. It's about like this. Good enough. It's spread out a little bit. Maybe it's too spread out. You know what? This is too spread out. I can't make up my mind to where I want this stupid thing. Good thing it's really flexible and you can just rebuild it. You know what? Here's what we'll do. We'll make the constructor first. Because the constructor is... It's wider than... It's wider than the smelter. So if I want to line them up straight, I should build the wider one first. So we'll get the constructor built first. We'll pop that right next to this. It's really, really touchy. Here. There we go. Now the smelter can go next. And we'll build this about like this, I guess. Let's come over here where you can see it a little easier. Can I just... You know what? I got it. We're going to go up on top of this. Let's go up, on, up this ladder. And now we can get up overhead and really see the base better. Let's put it right... Right here ought to be fine. It's good. Alright. So we got this miner. We need this to come across here. And connect to that. So let's just have this belt go like this. And I'm out of rods. Luckily I had the uh, machine over here switch to rods. So we should have some rods in storage. Yes we do. Good. We might as well take the plates as well. Why not? Whoops. Put them there. There we go. 
Let's wrap this around a little bit. Just because I think it looks clean. There we go. Now we need to hook these up to power, right? Well, we can't hook them up over there because there's not enough power allotment. So we're going to have to make our own biomass uh, generator, which uh, we can't do yet. We can't do yet because I'm dumb. I keep, I keep forgetting what we have available because I'm used to having them all the time. That's okay. It's okay. We have the resources capable of unlocking all this stuff. It's just going to take time. So the wire, we've been we've been making that pretty consistently already. We have this. We have the steel plates already set and done. We just need the rods, which that machine's working on. So we need the wire. I think we have enough wire now. I hope anyway. Let's go take a look. Not quite enough, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So while this is working for us, we can go exploring because we're going to need more biomass. We don't want to run out of power. So let's go exploring a little bit while all this is running for us. I want to see if I can find my friends. Also, you guys are probably interested to see what else is out in the world. So, you know, we'll just walk around for a bit. We'll gather a whole bunch of these shrubs and stuff so we can make more biomass. We'll eventually have some sort of a biomass workflow. But I'm going to wait to set that up until we get the next level for the biomass. It's called biofuel. So these little things that I just collected, those are food. Uh, whoops. Inventory. This is food. They're barrel nuts. Barrel nuts will heal me half a little pip there, half a tile, half a square, whatever, of health every time I eat one. And then we also had, uh, there's these berries, the, oh, my brain fart. There's the, the, the red berries. They'll heal me a full pip every time I eat one. And eventually, with one more upgrade on the hub, we'll also be able to do research. Oh, I hate these guys. Oh, this is going to be a good fight. Oh, oh, he, he spit fire, guys. They spit fire. And he never missed. It's freaking stupid. Ooh. Got him. Woo. Yeah, tried it. I took. I tried to take on three of these guys at once. Once. Yeah, it didn't end well. This I've never seen before. It's a Mercer sphere. This spherical object emits gravitational radiation. Initial scans reveal an inner vein-like structure filled with liquid gallium. Purpose and origin unknown. Further analysis required to determine application. I don't think I actually walked this way. When I played this area before. I never walked this direction. The Mercer sphere there, it says work in progress. It's important to note that when you see something that says work in progress, uh, it means that analyzing it will not give me anything. They haven't fully finalized what it is. So in the alpha anyway, in this alpha build, that Mercer Sphere will do nothing for me. But it's cool to just collect it and look and say, like, I got one. Uh, there is another thing. I forget what it's called, but it's deep in a cave, I think, I swear I found it. Yes, there are caves. There are caves to explore dangers within them potentially all right see this over here this here is like some poisonous gas stuff and if i go near this i start losing health and the whole map just begins to get really wonky like this you can see how the map's turning like this green color and i start losing health like really really fast it's really bad for you so you don't want to go through go near that Just eat some, eat some berries as I as I walk back. Let's check out what we got for rods. Not quite enough yet. We're getting there though. Uh, we should probably be good on the uh, copper wire, I think. Mm, I think so. Yep. Yeah. Let's dump off the wire. That's done. All we need now is, you know, 20, 27 more rods. 
20 more rods now. And we'll have hub number five. It's gonna be good. We have enough for a bunch of copper ingots too. Maybe we can dump the rest of this ore into here. Does this have storage? It has a full storage already, never mind. You have a full storage as well of ingots. Wowzers. Thing is cruising. Probably gonna have to spread those out. I think we'll probably split the belt once we get the research to do it, which is after we get the the hub upgraded. We'll probably do a, a belt splitter, splitter here and take these resources and pop them into like maybe three of these. Into three of these and then kick out even more wire. We could do that later. But the belt splitters, I need those. That's why we're doing this, we're kind of focusing on uh, the hub upgrades first. Because you get technology that helps you a lot in the future. All right, here we go. Hub number five. Fully upgraded hub. Ready to rock. So now, let's get the berries you have and the nuts. Hub feature, molecular analysis machine, also known as the MAM. Building biomass burner. Building space elevator. <laughs> Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Nice. So this additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. <laughs> Fixed approved protocols. Additionally, the MAM provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. I deem relevant. I love it. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Now that that message is done, we can get into here. We can unlock tier one and tier two stuff. It's very nice. What I want are logistics. I think logistics are the first thing I want. Yep. So let's grab logistics. This is where we can get our splitters. Our conveyor splitters and our mergers. We also get productivity display, which is kind of nice. We can see the efficiency of every building. Okay, so that's our milestone. We need 500 wire, 200 rods, 200 steel plates. Pretty easy stuff. Just keep piling the same stuff. So we'll put this in here so at least I have it on graphic display and I can see it. Now, it looks to me like all of our power is offline. It's not what you like to see. Which means this one's out of biomass. Yep. We have tons of leaves, though. So let's go ahead and make that biomass we need to make. We can feed, feed the beast. Get our productivity back. It can only hold 200, so a stack of 200 will work. How's this one looking? Only 28 left. Give her a little bit of extra cushion, and then we're going to go and make some more really quick. You can also do the wood. All right. So this, let's give us a little bit of a spare biomass in here, and we'll dump the rest of it into this. There we go. Now, 36 biomass remaining. I probably actually should just take it all because I want to build that extra supply line, right? So, we're going to need an extra extra storage container, I think. Well, once we get the splitter, then we can split this track and everything can go into one, which is probably better. Yeah, that's probably better, so that's what we'll do. But until that time comes, we want to make... Our power. Biomass burner. Oh, we're missing all that stuff? I don't have it in my inventory anymore. Silly Charlie. Get over there and get it done. What a silly Billy. Get the rods. Uh, let's switch you to plates for now. We'll make a bunch of plates. Let's also make sure we get the ingots taken care of. I don't need to have copper in my inventory. 
So let's make sure we clear that out. Inventory space is always, for me in any game, inventory space is always this problem. Because I always have so many things on me. That should be good enough. Let's make sure we have enough cable to lay the lines that we want. And let's go. So, we want a biomass, another biomass burner. I think I want one, I want to set it right here, I think. It's a different, it's a decent spot for it. Maybe we go and do this up top. Do this on top of this so we can see it better. All right, so if I put the burner right here, It can burn all that stuff for us and not waste space. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I might want an extra smelter and have this line deviate off. So maybe we put it here instead. I think I'm going to put it right here instead. I haven't built the base this way yet, so I kind of like to build it a different way every time. It makes it interesting for me. Okay, so a power pole. What about the pole right here, though? That's a nice spot for the pole. Hmm. I just put the pole right here, actually. One right there. One right here. Right here, I think. Yeah, this. And then one right here. Cool. Hook this to that. Hook that to that. Excellent. Hook this. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on. Nope. That's not how I want that. That's not how I want that. Let's get rid of this line. Get rid of this pole. Yep. We want this pole like right here actually. Yeah. Right here. That way, this can hook up to this. This can hook to this. This can hook to this. And then this thing can hook to that. And hook to this. So these are all hooked up now. Uh, negative. This is not hooked to this. There we go. Okay, cool. Come down here. Pop the biomass in. And away we go. We should now have mining taking place here. Sending the ore all the way down the track to this, which will then convert the iron ingots. Then this will come down here. We'll have this making the steel, the, the iron rods. So this can continue making plates. Then once we get the hub upgrade here, that's inside here, which we have to make these for, once we get this taken care of, then we can uh, get the splitters. Which means we could also do another smelter, like right here. Divide this line up between two smelters. That's not bad. We might need another biomass burner for that because this is... Eh, actually, we can afford another smelter. It's not a big deal. But... Uh... We are going to need to at least accept this. Yeah. We're going to need to... Let's give you a bunch of iron ingots to start you off. I need you to make a lot of them. So we'll give you a bunch. Ore is building up in here. Yeah, it's feeding it too quickly. We can probably divide this line amongst two smelters each. We might even be able to combine a whole bunch of these lines. Put another smelter here and then have the line go around and hook back up to this. Except your inventory is basically full of iron anyway, so. It'll be a little bit of a challenge to see the most optimal way to do this. And I've never been a min-maxer. Like, never. I'm just not a min-maxer, so. There's going to be people who play this game who goes, This is not as efficient as if you did it this way. And I'm going to go, well, that's cool. Have fun doing it that way. Like, I, I just don't care. Like, if I can make it better because I'm doing something wrong, then I care. But, like, if it's not wrong, it's just less efficient than your way, then I, I guess I don't really mind. 
Because having my base be my base, as opposed to having it be your base, uh, you know, it's, it matters more to me. I like it to uh, be a statement of who I am. I'm just kidding. Overly dramatic much. Uh, let's go down this way. I think there's another animal to fight here. Oh, before we do that, let's go back to the hub. Because there is something I forgot. Because we have stage 5, a fully upgraded hub, uh, hub, we can now do... We can now send things out to R&D. Research and development. So, if I come over here, this area here is our new research and development area. Our MAM, right? There are some things that we can analyze in this to get more information. So I can start by getting an alien carapace. I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. Because it leads to a better weapon system. So I'm going to do this. It takes seven and a half minutes to analyze this. So this thing will just run on its own. And in seven and a half minutes, we'll have results. So while that's running, now we can proceed forward. Anytime we can get the option to get an animal carapace like that, we need to take it. Because I think it takes ten more... If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I upgraded the weapons to that, that level. Oh, we want mycelia here as well. The mycelia within this fungus suggests strong bonding features. Further analysis required. We want the mycelia as well. We can make biomass from this later too, but I'm getting it for research purposes. And then in this cave is the other thing that is a work in progress, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, I think this is probably enough. We can make biomass from this, though, so I'm going to pick up as much as I can. Because it's it stacks a lot on a tile. Like in an inventory slot, you can stack a bunch of it. So let's just go like this. And we'll get it for research. There we go. Okay. There's nothing of danger in this cave, I don't think. If I remember coming over here. Like once or twice. I think it's up here. That. There's a red thing up there on the wall. It's a work in progress. The summer sloop. This object emits alpha radiation. The material has hydrophobic properties and contains pockets of plutonium, according to scans. Handle carefully. Further analysis required to determine application. Yeah, it still won't tell me. As it is a work in progress, uh, it doesn't give me anything for the alpha, so. Again, this game is an alpha. This is a closed alpha testing phase where they have finally said, I mean, it's been in closed alpha for a while. They've been giving out thousands of alpha keys for months. They've only now, only just now have they told us creators. You're probably noticing quite a few people playing this right now. At this point. This is recorded well in advance, so <laughs> I got a week until I can release this episode, but uh, I'm going to tell you guys it's a surprise game. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let you guys guess about it for a while, maybe. But we're going to lose access to this, and then you guys are going to see it um, like well after it's recorded. So, And I have other things I want to record, too, so I don't know how many episodes I can get out of this, but I've been waiting a long time to share Satisfactory, so... This gives me more iron here, okay? So there's two pockets of iron here, which could be a cool place to start my Twitch base. Maybe I'll start the Twitch base over here. This looks cool. I don't think I've ever made a base over here before. Just picking up a ton of leaves. Also, animals. Animal carapace, want to get this. You know, for research. Limestone pure, limestone pure, okay. So there's a big deposit of limestone here. Not bad for concrete. If I see copper over here, I think this is where I'm making the Twitch base. Or I could go really far away. Like, why don't we do the Twitch base, like, really far away? Completely different, like, other side of this island. Over where the dangerous things are. Which I have no interest in getting too close to them. That's, like, where we're getting right now. There's some really dangerous shit over here, and I'm not... 
like the fire spitters, but there's also this gargantuan thing that shoots like rains fire down upon you. Oh shit, I think he sees me. Okay, it's one of these fire spitters. Oh, I thought it was the big guy. I was getting really freaking scared because he'll chase me forever. Ah! Damn it. Hold still. These things never freaking miss. Their fire just hits you. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna get out of this area because if I get another fight in one of those, or worse, like a, a couple of them at, a, at the same time, I'm just screwed. They'll chase me forever. And they just spit fire from a distance and it just like, I can't get away. Oh, these things are cool. Check this out. A green power slug. This semi-slug seems to emit weak potential energy from its crystalline shell. Further analysis of crystals required to determine application. Alright, let's get the berries. Get ourselves healed up a bit. Okay, that's good. So, yeah, you're gonna find yourself getting a lot of these shrubs. Because you're going to want tons and tons of biomass, but eventually I want to get a system set up for it where I don't have to produce it myself anymore. All I have to do is pop leaves in a machine. And we're almost to that point. We're almost to that point, because then I can start working on getting towards my the chainsaw and stuff that I want to get. And then we can start making it from wood, which is a bit more effective, in my opinion. Alright, we've got a ton of leaves now. We should have enough copper wire by this point. I would hope. Yep, we do. Good. Come back here. Make sure we have enough plates. Uh, we could do better on the plates. No, I think we have enough. Yep, there's 87 more. We have enough. How are we doing on the rods? We have 100, so we have stalled out storage, basically, on the rods. Okay, let's dump them in. Rods go here. Here's the plates. Excellent. Copper wire. Done. All we're waiting on now is the rods. And then we can start splitting up our... We can start splitting our stuff up. Uh, let's make the biomass. And again, I want to get to the point where I don't have to make this manually anymore. And I think we're getting really close to that. As soon as I get the biofuel sorted out, the biofuel situation will be a good situation. But for now, we're going to make it like this. It doesn't take too long to make it. You tend to whip through your supply of leaves really quickly. And your supply of wood. There we go. Not enough inventory space. It's fine. We're going to fill this up right now. Fill that up. Fill this up. Come over here and fill this one up too. Excellent. The rest of this we'll put in storage. And we shouldn't have to go biomass hunting. We shouldn't have to go and do that very much at all for the future. So, uh, At least not in the near future, anyway. We have some extra wood in here, though. We could probably take this wood out. I wish I could double-click these things. That's one thing I wish I could do. You can't double-click them to insert them back and forth. I really wish that was a, that was a feature. It'd be really easy to do. Like, double-click a stack to insert the whole stack. All right, alien, alien carapace is completed. Please choose a new specimen uh, in the list below to analysis, to analyze. It wants to follow Additional up with this. Additional samples are required for R&D to continue developing a defense-oriented blueprint. The creature has been named Fakecoirus plumius cata, or fluffy-tailed hog. Fluffy-tailed hog. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's analyze some of these other things, because I don't have enough and carapaces to actually do this yet. And if I input some in there, it's just kind of like sit in there and not do anything. So we might as well take care of other things while we're out hunting for more. So I need four more alien carapaces for this. Unless there's some in storage, is there? No. Let's split this off. We'll take a few of these with me. Wood. Just dump this uh, on this stack. Let's just make more biomass with it. 
There we go. Dump the biomass into here. Sounds good. Okay, we got the uh, mycelia. We'll dump some of that in here too. Let's just take like eight of it because I think we only need a little bit for research. Uh, I was going to follow up on that one too, so we'll do that. Copper ingot. Turn that into wire really quick. Get a few more cables. We can't make anything else yet, so okay. Waiting on the rods. Let's see how we're doing. 53 more. Not bad. Not quite enough, but not bad. We'll dump those in here. We're almost ready. And then we can start splitting this. We'll put both of these in the storage at the same time, and we won't have to babysit this anymore. I think we'll actually make two more rows of this. We'll make two more rows here and here. With the two more constructors here and here. Uh, and then eventually we're going to get to the point where we can start making more advanced things. We can't quite do that yet. But once we get to the assembler, we can make more advanced things. And then we can split it off to where these two paths will work together to create one more advanced object. And we'll get that flowing into storage as well. So we probably will need an extra storage bench anyway. We're going to need another storage container anyway, honestly. So I think maybe I'm going to double back on what I said before and we'll just do it. I need 10 iron rods to create this. So we'll just build it now anyway. Uh, nope, I need plates now too. Come on now. Come on now. Give me it. There we go. Set this right here next to it. We're just gonna we're just gonna do it anyway, it's fine. There we go. So we'll have the rods going and the plates going. Yep. It just moves right on through to the storage. Nice. But I need these for my upgrade yet, so I'm just gonna rob them from the belt for a bit. How many do we have? Need seven more. Shit, there's probably seven done already. One, two, three. Four. <laughs> Five. Come on. Come on. Six. One more. Right there. Seven. Let's go. Let's go. Get it upgraded. Launch it! <laughs> Go, my wonderful eight. ship! Conveyor belts can now merge and split to increase the complexity <laughs> and efficiency of your factory. Oh, this game the makes me so happy! Display will help you measure and improve the productivity of Whee! individual buildings to aid with optimization. Up, up, and away! So that's gonna go deliver things. And we get rewarded, you know, with the ability to do that now. Okay. You can choose a new milestone. Uh, the pod doesn't return for a little bit. We, we, can we can still choose the milestone. We're going to go for biofuel. Or utility. I could go for personal storage. Some extra storage slots, which is kind of nice. Object scanner is okay. It's not really necessary. Neither are these. So utility is where I'm going. And we use the same, same requirements, basically. But we can't load it until the pod comes back. Because there's no slots to actually lo load until the pod comes back. Right? There's nothing to put. There's nowhere to put it until that thing comes back. So. Alright. So let's come over here. We'll grab the wire. That's going to satisfy the requirement right away. For the wire. And now we got these things going. So now I have the splitter, I could split these. But it works the way it does so far. It's not a super big deal. We could actually get started on the limestone stuff. Let's do that. We'll go with the Miner MK1, which I need more rods and I need a portable miner for. I don't have the portable miner anymore. I guess I don't. Let's make it. Portable miner, go. Right. 
I think I'm still missing the rods. Pull the rods. So we'll probably put the splitter... We'll put the splitter, like, right here, actually. It's not a bad spot for it. Uh, or a merger belt. Yeah, 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 the merger belt. You can put it right here. I wish I could just transform it and just do this, but I can't. Let me stand on top of something here so I can get a better look. Ah, uh, so this belt can go on this side. This belt into this side. Yeah, this works better. This is where I want this, right here. Go. All right, we'll take this. Let's dismantle this. Dismantle this. And then, yep, this. This. And we get the supplies that are on the belt when we dismantle it, by the way. I don't, I don't want you to think we're losing supplies here right now. We're, we get the supplies once you dismantle the, the belt. It's part of what goes into... It's part of what goes into your inventory when you do that. You get some of your supplies back when you deconstruct. All right. So now we have the merger here. And this is important because now we can have all these things funneling into this. And it all goes into the same... Right, into the same storage unit instead of this one. We're going to use this one anyway, so I'm not, it's not a waste to have this. But now I can have all my resources coming into here. Now... I got stuck on the, the invisible wall. There's actually quite a few invisible walls in this game you'll run into. Especially when you uh, like are sorting through your inventory and stuff and you want to move. You find yourself not being able to move certain directions sometimes. It's just one of those you know, little bugs that are in the alpha. It's fine. So this... We're gonna set up the concrete there, or the limestone here. We'll convert it to concrete, and then we'll ship it into this belt. So actually, I don't think I need this. Actually, we'll do, just get rid of that now. Let's go production. The miner is here. We got the resources coming out this side. Then we'll grab the belt. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's build the other things first. We'll get the smelter. Put a smelter right next to it, I guess. It's not too big of a deal. But this is like, there's no reason for to have limestone without the concrete, so we'll just do it really close. It's fine. Let's pop that into there. Good. We can get that started as long as we get power sorted for it, so let's get the biomass burner set up. Biomass burner on this side. Should be fine, maybe sitting right here. Should be fine. Pop a power rod right here. And we'll run this stuff to there. And run this stuff to there. And run this stuff to there. Okay. Now all you need is biomass. Good for you. I have a whole lot of it over here. That's why... That's why I went out and got all the stuff. Bam. So we'll start concrete production now. Concrete will start running through here. Get smelted. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the wrong, this is the wrong thing. Get rid of this. That's the wrong thing. I don't want that. I want the constructor. My bad. My bad. My bad. It's alright. We're still getting the limestone. It's just not going anywhere. Get the reinforced plate. See, I'm stuck. I got stuck right there. I couldn't. I couldn't walk forward. This is running. Okay, I want my constructor here. Actually, I think I'm like super certain of it. Super certain. That's how. See how fast I'm moving. I'm. That's how. That's how sure I am. You can tell because how fast I'm trying to do this. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, concrete. Go. Okay. 
Then we'll take this all the way this way and pop it into there. And there we go. So when the concrete's made, it'll flow down this belt and everything will end up into that storage bin. I'm super sure. So, so sure. <laughs> All right, we need 150 plates and 150 rods and 500 iron. We have almost, actually we have that many plates right now. Let's do it. We don't quite have enough of the rods, but we're getting there. And we totally have enough uh, of the copper already too. We have enough of that in storage. So let's grab the copper. The wire. We'll just pull this pile of wire here to the side. And we'll dump the rest of it in there. All we're waiting on now are the iron rods. Which are coming out of here. We have none in the machine in storage. Fine. What's in here? We have nine left in here. How are we doing on research? All done. The pale berry is complete. Great. Let's choose the green power slug. Paleodictyopra berries or pale berries added to object scanner catalog. So what that did is it added it added it to the catalog for the object scanner. And the object scanner isn't something I have. It's part of exploration basics. And it allows me to scan for objects as opposed to resources. Speaking of which, resources. If you hold this down, if you hold down C, you can choose what, what resource to scan for. So if I wanted to know where, for instance, more copper was, I get this. And it shows me little pips once it hits it. So they're pretty far away, actually. The next available resource for copper is uh, 425 meters that direction. So copper's pretty far away. Oh, there's another green power slug up there. Nice. I see it. And over there, too. I knew about that one, because I saw that one before. But that one on top of that hill, I did not know about. So, cool. You discover things, like, a lot. Oh, this isn't being this isn't being worked because of this. There we go. My bad. I rebuilt the... I rebuilt it to be a proper machine, but I never hooked up the power again. Biomass is looking good. So, I think I'll set up my biomass manufacturing over here. Because there's a lot of, it's a lot of trees and stuff. I mean, eventually all these trees will get plowed down. I'm gonna keep some of them. You know, like some of the trees, it adds some character to the place. You know, like I'm not gonna cut down this tree here, for example, because I like the way it looks here. But I might cut down these two. You know, stuff like that. Just keep it, keep make sure it maintains character. I like it. So I think once we get this milestone done. Probably end the episode there. It's not a bad spot to end it. It's getting pretty long. I, I mean, I don't mean to make the episode super long, but uh, maybe people are liking that more. I just get into this game and I can't stop. It's it's crazy. It's crazy what it's done to me. I haven't logged enough hours into it. Not not as many as a lot of other people who have had access to the alpha. Because I have other content I want to produce, and so I spend my spare time. YouTube is still kind of a spare time gig for me. I mean, it's full-time hours, but... I get. I guess I can't really say it's a spare time gig, and honestly, because I make the spare time for it, you know? I, I pre... I allot the spare time for it. We get shrubs behind the, behind the rocks. <laughs> Within the rocks. That's nice. Good job. But either way, I, I think you get what I'm saying. It's not like I'm doing nothing but video games all the time. So it's, you know, I have other content to make. And then when I get to make it, I want to make videos. And since I couldn't make videos on, on Satisfactory, I just, you know, did other things. But this has been really fun. Uh, really, really fun. We need nine more rods. I'm just gathering some additional biomass while we're waiting. Because you can't run out of power. Like, if you run out of power, it feels so bad. Because you're just like, oh my god, I have to run around and get leaves now. And it takes forever to get your power back up. To a reasonable way. So when you have a minute, just, you know, come around and 
gather up the shrubs. The shrubs. Oh man, we're up at the top of this hill. I know what I want to do for getting do back down quickly. I want to just jump down. I will take fall damage for this. Do you want to see how much the fall damage is? I actually don't know from this height. We definitely will take fall damage, but let's try it. See, it's not that bad. It's actually like, you'd think it'd be way, way, way more extreme than that, but it's not. I feel like they actually should balance that and make it stronger because, I don't know, I just kind of, it's messing with my immersion, man. Oh well. Wah, wah. Let's get this. We have enough. Utilities, milestones, launch. Launch the rocket ship! Utility done. Additionally, you can now build the space elevator, which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. Bye bye. Now it keeps it keeps mentioning the space elevator. Additionally, you can now build the space elevator, which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. It keeps mentioning that, and I'm gonna get to it, but I didn't want to do it just yet. It's it's on my to-do list, okay? Green power slug. All done. The crystals Let's do mycelia. The can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in the hub. Do you have a blueprint for for those guys? Biofuel is what I've been looking for though. Is getting biofuel made. It's super good. That's what we want to convert everything to right now. So we're going to get all this biomass and we're going to convert it all to fuel. To biofuel. That's what you want to do. Let's get some more biomass there. Good. Biofuel, go. Convert all of this to biofuel and we're in great shape. I think maybe the next episode we'll look at getting the infrastructure in place for biofuel just to be created for us. I still have to put an input in. It's one of the few things where, you know, you're not going to be able to actually get the beginning of the assembly line. You still have to provide the beginning, right? The starting point. I have to funnel wood into it. I have to funnel leaves into it. But then it can go through the process of going to biomass and then biofuel just like all for me. And it, it, it it's way better than just sitting here pressing this button. But we'll probably do that maybe in the next episode. Uh, we'll look at the space elevator, although we're not going to be able to build it all the way, but we'll look at what it is. I'll show you guys that in the next video. But that's going to do it for the biofuel. We have two full stacks of it. It's going to be awesome. We can switch this. It's going to be a temporary slowdown. And then we pop biofuel in there instead. Way better to do that. Take the biomass out. Pop biofuel in. Way more efficient. Let's go back over here. Make more biofuel. With the mass that we've already collected from the machines. And we're getting close. There we go. Uh, we don't have an objective. So let's look at the next thing. Probably personal storage, I think, is a good thing. This thing is landing up above us right now. While that's doing that, let's go grab this. Excellent. Make some more biofuel. Let's go ahead and pop the resources in here just to get this started. I like to get it started, just to, like see the icons and stuff. More biofuel here. I think we can fill that concrete machine up. Or at least the bio converter, right? The the power near this. Biomass burner, whatever. We can fill that up to 200. And let's see what our final one is. It's this over here. What's she up to? We'll swap you out for this. And we make more. And then we have to go get more biomass. We don't have to. We have quite a bit of power for a while, but I think I'll do that probably before the next video. So we'll let those supplies build up a bit for the next video. 
But anyway, guys, that's it. That's going to do it for Satisfactory today. Thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Make sure you're hitting likes on the videos. Helps them grow. You can leave me comments about things, ask questions about the game. Uh, I'll try and answer them in the comments. I won't be able to answer them in the video because I'm recording all this well before you see it. But uh, I, will, I will try my best to answer them in the comments. So if you have questions about the game, let me know and I'll get to them. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.